Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to use uh, how to create pop-up menus in a graphite HMI from a existing G3 model if you will. For instance, uh, if you look here I've got a database here that's uh, built on a G310 model and the G306, G308, 10 and 15 all of those models have buttons on the side here uh, that you can indicate or you can use as sidebar buttons if you will. If you look at this particular database I'm running on the main page I've got a series of sidebar buttons here with some indicators indicate, or telling us that this one will go to page one, page two, three, four, and five and then you notice these two are kind of purple. So these ones are green which means if I double click on them then on the global tab they're allocated to take us to a specific page. So the first one, soft key number one, takes us to the global page one, soft key number two takes us to page two, the next one's page three and so forth. And then you can see these two bottoms down here, these two buttons, <clears throat> these ones are set to do something special only on the main page. So if I double click on this first one, notice there's no allocation on the global tab. But if I go to the local tab here, you can see here that on the local tab, <coughs> excuse me, on the local tab here, you can see the up counter. Uh, it sets it to one, two, three. And if I double click on this one, it sets it to three, two, one, if you will. So what I want to do is I want to take this database and convert it to say maybe a, a G3 or a, G, a graphite model, for instance, that doesn't have sidebar menu. So I want to show you what happens. So I'll save this program here. And if I go to File, Save, Conversion, here I'm in Crimson 3.0, do File, Save, Conversion. You notice here you can pick the different product. I'm gonna pick the Graphite HMI. I'll pick the G10, the same resolution we have right here. I'll click Convert. It's gonna pop up and it's gonna ask me to save it. So I'll just override this G10 I was working with earlier. Say Save. Uh, override, yes. And if you watch what it did here, folks, is it automatically created now a G10 model. But the problem is that there's no sidebar menus on the Graphite HMIs or on the CR1000 or 3000 series. So uh, what Crimson does, it tries to take some of those sidebar allocations and uses these icon or these I, uh, soft keys down below here. So if I double click on this explanation point one, you can see that on the global tab, it does do a go to page and allocates to page one. Well, I'm actually going to turn that off here because I'd rather have that button do something else. If I go to the local tab, notice it doesn't do anything there. When I click OK, you'll see that this will go from green back to, I believe, the default red. Let's see, there it is, more of a maroon color. Let me double click on this button. This icon normally used to indicate your uh, writing data to an SD card, but I'm going to go ahead and hit the pull down here and choose no action on this one. Double check the local as well. Looks good. Click OK again. That looks good. Let me double check on this last one, this home key. All right, so this, this icon home button, it's doing exactly kind of what I want it to do. I want it to go to the page, load the main page, show up as a normal page, but I'll come back to this in a little bit because I want to show you something on this guy. I'll click OK. So that looks great, but the problem I have is that these previous had buttons here that would take us to these locations. Well, now I don't have those buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use these things and allocate these as my buttons. So if you watch this shortcut, I'm going to take my mouse and I'll click away. So I focus on nothing. Then if I click on this guy one time, I'm holding basically the whole group. You can see down here it shows you some shortcut. I'm holding the group. But I really want to go into the properties of the button or the uh, arrow. So if I click on the arrow, I get a green border and a red on that particular item. This is the text box. I really want to focus on the oops. I really want to focus on the background arrow. So I'll go to the arrow. I'll right click, and I'm going to add an action. So when I push this thing, I want it to actually take me to page one. So I'm going to click Add Action. Boom. I get an action tab. I hit the pull down here. Choose Go to Page select the page one right here click ok and that takes care of that I'll go ahead and do that for each one of these guys 
Oops, I didn't want to do that. I'm going to right click because I want to add an action. Right click, add action. Choose go to page, select page two. Click OK. Go to the third guy here. Right click, add action. Choose go to page number three on this guy. And this one here is going to go to page four, add action. Page four, and the last guy will go to page So that takes care of those particular things, but the previous program, I also had two buttons down here that were on the main page that would uh, set my counter to go to one, two, three, or three, two, one. So to add those to the main menu here, I'm gonna go over to the right side and go to primitives on the right side, go into the core primitives, make this a little bigger, and in the core primitives, the button that I'm going to use here in Crimson 3.0 is one, two, three, four, five rows from the top. The left-hand column right here is a thing called the bevel button. I'm going to click on the bevel button one time, and you get all these pre-built ones. I'll grab one of these guys. Uh, maybe I'll grab this. I'll grab this red one. I'll drag it out here like this. I'll put it right here. I'll make it a little bigger. I'll zoom in so you can see it. So I'm going to change the text on this to say something else, and I'm going to give it an action. So I'm going to right click and go to properties, and I'm going to say for my text, I'll say set one, two, three. Now notice folks, uh, I always say this in my class, it's always good to have good contrast. So you can see here that I have kind of a maroon red background with a black uh, colored font. It doesn't really pop, so I'm going to change the font to maybe a white, it might show up a little bit brighter here. Another thing I'll show you here is if I go to the More tab, I always like to give this thing a little more 3D movement. So down here where it says Move on Press, change that to down and to the right. And then if I go to the Action tab, this is where it's important. On the Action tab, hit the pull down here, and I'm going to choose Change Value, just like I was doing before with the G310 database. But this time, I'm going to drag my up counter tag right into this field here. Boom. And then down here for data value, I'm going to say one, two, three. So what that means is when I push this button, it's going to make the up counter go to one, two, three. Perfect. Click OK. Looks good. And then I'll do a smart duplicate on this. I'll right click and do smart duplicate. It makes me a copy. However, on the copy, I'm going to go to properties. And I'm going to do the opposite here. Make this thing go to three, two, one. And then go to the text tab and change this to say three, two, one. Like so. Oops. There we go. <clears throat> Click OK. All right, so uh, that's got this set up as a sidebar menu here. So this should show up uh, as a as complete page. Let me go down here. I want to show you something here. I'm going to double click on this home key again. But instead of this thing opening as a normal page, which means it's the whole page, I really want this to open up as a sidebar menu. So I'm going to go ahead and try something. I'm going to hit the pole down here and choose pop up menu. Click OK. What Crimson's supposed to do is open this up as a sidebar menu. Now, we have a problem because it's going to fight with this thing hanging out and this thing hanging out. So let's see what happens here if I try the emulator. It might not work today, but let's try it. I'm hold G10 here, but I'm going to go ahead and download this emulator see what happens. Might save it first. There we go. Download it. <clears throat> so here it is. If I click page one, it takes me to page one. If I click this, look, you see what it does here? This is perfect. It opens it up as a sidebar, but it's, it's taking up all this space. Well, really what I want this to do is to show up as a sidebar menu, just like Bill Gates' Windows does. So I'm going to hit the escape key. Oh, let me try this before I do. This should set it to, look at that, sets it to 1, 2, 3. And this one sets it to 3, 2, 1. How beautiful. But I'm going to hit the escape key because what really what I want to do is I'm going to move this over here so you can see this. Actually, no, I'm just going to You know it works. I'm going to get rid of this as well. However, all of this stuff shows up as the uh, main page here. So what I always like to do when I have like a sidebar like this is I always go over to primitives on the right side and I go into my core primitives and I might select maybe, uh, maybe for this one I'll click on this panel border that's kind of sunken. What's this one? This one's sunken. Oh, this is complete border. I'll click on it one time. You get all these pre-built ones. Doesn't matter which one uh, you pick. I'm going to grab one of these light gray ones. 
and I'll drag this guy out here like this and I'll make it just a little bit bigger I'll drag it so it kind of covers all this so it's a little bit bigger like that and then I'll right click and I'm gonna go to arrange and I'm gonna move it behind everything now I also notice something else here let me zoom in a little more if I make this guy a little bit skinnier like that I can see that these are all touching so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this guy and move it over here like this just a little bit and I'll take my mouse and I'm gonna lasso all these things like this and then I'm gonna use my left arrow just to move that whole conglomeration two or three pixels over and then I'll grab this guy and move it back over here like this and I could probably still do contrast. There, so it's kind of centered, looks pretty good. Now let me go ahead and save this and let's run this in the emulator and see what happens this time. So go ahead and load the emulator. Here's the main page. I click page one, there it is. Watch this, click here, look. It opens this as a nice, clean, side pop-up bar menu, just like you had with the previous G3 models. But now you got these nice buttons that you can use anywhere on the screen. And of course, these still work. I'm not looking at the value, but they're still there. So that's just an in, uh, easy way to show you how to uh, create a little sidebar pop-up menu from an existing G3 model database that had buttons on it. Um, one more thing I do want to show you before I let you go. Uh, <clears throat> another neat thing here, team, is that we do have the new Crimson 3.1 software. It really has a whole bunch of cool graphics in it as well. I want to show you how you could take this database and import it into uh, G3 or into Crimson 3.1. So if I go open up Crimson 3.1 and I'm just sitting here, default, I'll go file new just to show you something. And I'll select, uh, I'll just select something totally off the base here. One of these edge controllers. This thing here is pretty sweet. But anyway, I'll go ahead and pick that for example. It's got a display page. Now, if I want to import this previous database into here, into Crimson 3.1, I'll go to File, and I'm going to do Import. I'm going to select the G10 that we were just playing with here. Click Open. And now it should have brought that into Crimson 3.1, which it sure did, which gives me access to do all really cool things, like add all these cool gauges and other things that we have in Crimson 3.1. So uh, that's just a quick example. The reason I didn't do the program in Crimson 3.1 uh, is because I don't have a G10 here handy to download to live, and Crimson 3.1 does not have an emulator version, so you really have to have real hardware to test. So uh, that's also nice. But this is just a quick uh, show and tell of how to create sidebar menus in uh, Crimson 3 to go from a G3 model to a new Graphite or the CR1000 or 3000 series H models. Hey, thanks a lot, folks. Have yourself a great day.